and hello again um, and today we're going to have a look at uh, my mouse um, I've got a, a Logitech it's a gaming mouse actually it's um, I think it's an S502 probably charges on the bottom there G502 I beg your pardon GS502 my so that's not very good don't know if you can see that um, not the latest gaming mouse but uh, does the standard gaming type things now, I'm not a gamer um, but what I wondered about it was um, it has all these extra buttons that are programmable and um, given that we've been looking at um, it's it's not a, a problem but uh, every time you use the UC1 on a new track um, you have to add about 20 or 30 instances of the um, channel strip plugin and uh, we've been looking at easy ways of doing that um, we've looked at using the UF8 which has a nice easy work solution for it We've looked at Touch Portal, we've looked at uh, the Elgato Stream Deck. And today we're looking at what might be possibly um, the best way to do it, um, depending on uh, your workflow. Okay, so without further ado, let's. Um, I'll show you how it works. I'm going to start a new um, FL Studio project. Um, and I'll drag FL Studio out of the way. And then, as per before, I may select the first track that you want to have the um, channel strip plugin on, hover over uh, the plugin area here, and then if you watch my finger, I'm about to press this button here, and I'll give it, give it a countdown. Three, two, one, and it's off. And what it will do is FR Studio will go away and it will create a number of instances of the channel strip plugin. Now, what's interesting about um, this Logitech mouse is, depending on how long you hold the button, can control how many instances uh, you want to put on. So you can see I held the button there for, mm, I don't know, maybe a second, and I got 20 instances. Um, and I find I can pretty much get 20 whenever I like. Hold it a bit longer, two seconds, and you can forget 40. So, um, and I've only had to program it with one set of commands. Uh, which I'll show you now. I don't know if you saw the software just peeping up from behind. Um, I've created this button called, which I've called SSL Add. And if we go in and have a look at that, edit the button, you can see these are the keystrokes. Now it gives you two instances of each keystroke, uh, and one is down and one is up. Um, now we're not interested in whether it's down or up, we're just interested in the click. But you get this for, for free if you like. And you can see there's one set there. And the option I've selected here is repeat options while pressed. So the longer you hold the button down, the more this is going to get repeated and the more channel strips you're going to get. Now an alternative to this, if you just want to have say 20 every time or 30 every time, you could just repeat this 20 or 30 times and turn this off so that it was just standard click once. Uh, but I actually quite like the um, the while pressed. I haven't looked at toggle. <laughs> That's another option. Um, but I don't like to spend too much time on these things. But I thought it would be an interesting thing to, um, to look at. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed looking at it with me. Um, if you have, give me a like. And... Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm on a run at the moment of doing um, what I hope is useful videos for some. Um, thanks very much for your time. 